Hey everyone, this is like my third take doing this, so I'm kind of slap happy and uh, I'm getting ready to go to my therapist appointment. Actually, I've got both my therapist and my doctor's appointment this afternoon and I was just grabbing a quick bite to eat and I went to put some salt on the rice that I had just heated up and the top on the salt shaker came off and the entire contents of the salt shaker, which I had just filled a week ago, poured into my bowl. This means one thing. One of my children is going to find their bed short-sheeted in the near future because this was a deliberate act on somebody's part. Yeah, We were having a discussion a couple of weeks ago about some of the pranks that I did when I was a kid and apparently somebody took my uh, story of leaving the cap off at school to heart and decided to try it on me because I'm the only one that uses that salt shaker. Anyway, so, not a whole lot has changed since my last video, and the issue with the kids' father still is, is kind of problematic. He's been a little more distant from us than he had been previously, and Christine had gotten into an argument, and the kids saw it, and it was, it was really a bad thing, but... Where now that we've got the kids with us full time, they're not, they're, they're not having any issues. At least none that they're letting on about. Um, yeah, physical changes. I haven't noticed anything really drastic. Um, my, I'm starting to get some hairs on my forearms uh, that are darker and longer than the blonde ones that I grew up with. Um, my facial hair. I, I have to shave about once a week now or else I get the scraggly patches that just make me look like an adolescent. And I don't care for them, so I shave them off. Um, oh, I don't know if this is TMI, but I'm starting to get some freaking long nose hairs. They're just, oh, I n never thought that I'd get old man nose hairs, but I'm starting to grow them, so that's kind of a side effect I wasn't quite looking for not quite excited about but I guess you gotta take the good with the bad and definitely the good is outweighing the bad but man I'm gonna have to make sure I keep those under control cuz nothing there's nothing I hate worse than seeing a guy with nose hair sticking out of his nostrils that has grossed me out ever since I was a child so yeah um, and not a whole lot has been going on. We got the kids back into school last week, and so it's just been, you know, going to open houses and, and making sure that we get into a good routine, getting them up and getting them off in the morning. Um, yeah, I've been getting up and making breakfast. I don't know, they had gotten in a habit last year of eating sugared cereal every morning for breakfast, and, and I just I couldn't get myself out of bed to... to uh, do anything about it and I decided it would be beneficial if, and more cost effective because it's cheaper to make a nutritious breakfast than it is to constantly be stocking up on Fruit Loops and uh, Lucky Charms. Yeah, but the, the kids the kids do do better if they have a, a more substantial breakfast under their belt when they go to school so I've been getting up and, and getting ready and then getting breakfast started for them. So hopefully I can keep that up. I, I want to keep it up. Um, other changes. You know, I'm trying to decide whether I want to go and get top surgery done first or bottom surgery done first because I really want to get my gender marker changed. Unfortunately, in the state of Michigan, from everything that I've read from the different um, groups that I've subscribed to, uh, you have to have bottom surgery in order to get a court order saying that you can have your gender marker changed. Now, I was born in Utah, so technically I could just go to Utah and have the courts there issue a gender change for my birth certificate, but I haven't been able to find any information on what minimum requirements the state of Utah has for changing your gender marker. So if any of you guys know um, what the state of Utah requires, please give me a, a, a message. Drop me a line because I, 
I want to get the gender marker changed. And if that means doing bottom surgery over top, I can't afford both surgeries right now. It's either one or the other. I'd love to have it just be top surgery because I'd like to get those things removed and out of the way. They're uh, distracting and I, I just I can't stand to see them. But if if I have to live with them and order to get my gender marker changed a little bit sooner, that's the direction I want to go. Um, uh, currently, my insurance is covering my uh, my testosterone. I don't know why, but it's only costing me fifteen dollars a bottle for my testosterone. Um, but there's no way that they would cover top or bottom surgery unless I could get a doctor to be willing to uh, say that I need a hysterectomy because of X, Y, or Z. But I'm I'm not one to I don't know. I hate I hate having to lie. <laughs> I hate lying. So anyway, if you guys have any ideas, suggestions, comments, I'd really appreciate it. Um, I don't. I can't think of anything else right now, and I really got to get headed out. But I just wanted to let you know that things are things are going well, and one of my children is gonna be waking up in a wet bed or something. I gotta come up with something. I can't believe they took the lid off my salt shaker. Alright, well, take care and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.